Hi, Victoria Panda here, USA Today best-selling author. I'm um, calling, uh, calling, I'm on video, yay, live. Um, okay, so today I wanted to talk about series and why in romance series are pretty awesome. Um, I think that's true in fiction writing in general, series are AKA awesome. Um, and let's talk about the different ways people do series. series. I know there are some people who love like the Twilight and the Fifty Shades of Grey, like your, what I mean by that is in comparison is first person, why a feel to it where everything is in the girl's point of view. You can have first person guide view and that's very popular too. And then typically it's like your three book trilogy of these characters that get pulled through their story and how they eventually, eventually find happily ever after. Um, that's true for the, and my favorite of first person, to be honest, The Hunger Games. Like, oh my god. Anyway, so that's like more YA though. And what I write is actually third person. And what do I mean by first person and third person is first person is always in the person's point of view. It's first person, so it's all about I, 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 me, me. Um, those are typically first person. Third person is kind of pulling back and it's like just after something happened typically, um, past present, past perfect. Um, and then it's like she said, he said, and it's really at that point just my preference for what I write. However, I will say that what was hot in third person was popular when I was re write, reading, then first person became popular with the whole YA, but you don't know what's coming next. And I am writing a first person series right now and it's actually kind of fun, but because I get to be different and I love just changing myself a little bit just to be a little different. Um, because I think that's so important to keep fresh. But anyway, a third person is what I write. And anyway, back to series. Um, and in my series, it's typically all of mine are romance. So every book ends on a happily ever after. So there is no continuing, continuing story arc for these characters other than, and they lived happily ever after typically. Um, in one of my series, it's a little different. So in my Princess of Avicii, every one of them is a single um, a guy and a girl you might have met these other characters that are involved in the series in the book somewhere um but that's really it so they and what's fun about that series is that it's like a small country and all the nobles must marry before they turn 30 so um i've got dukes marquis people who are not friends enemies sisters brothers they're all there but every book is a happily ever after end of end of their story in my house of morgan that's a little bit more like soap opera-esque drama in the background because my continuing i have this one character who's continuing character and her, her name is jennifer and jennifer loves peter except peter doesn't love jennifer peter in book three married Belle, um and they're trying to be happy after but jennifer is a little obsessed with peter so she's doing everything she can in every book and what Jennifer does to get win Peter is mess with all of his brothers his half brothers his sisters his half sisters in her effort to get back with Peter who she had once upon a time um and then she never really had him though and then that's because he's now and he's now happily in love with his wife so She's doing everything in her power though to make sure that they're not happy. So we do have some continuing soap opera drama there. However, by her her actions cause other people to find happily ever after typically. Like when she tried to steal Peter's sperm, she accidentally, Natalie might ended up pregnant. So one of the other brothers ended up watching out for Natalie and then they fell in love and that was a whole other story. That was like my Jane the virgin like arc thing so anyway that was kind of fun anyway so i do write series they're all typically related though because of brothers or sisters or like they have that family connection and i think the connecting series makes people want to read more um it can be a group of people who were in the army together my a group of people who went to school together who were friends I can as long as there is like a group dynamic that's strong between them that is what kind of brings the story arcs together it's a little different in mystery and and where you have the same character solving different crimes or you have 
in sci-fi where you have like a group that has to kind of figure out the big bad um, and then stop the big bad from ever happening. So there's that in the sci-fi world, which is cool. But, and that means you have different story arcs for different characters all in the same world of getting to, in a world where they have a goal. Whereas in romance, the my contemporary romance is they're in this world right here, right now. Okay, they're all billionaires. I don't know how many billionaires are out there, but they're all right here, right now. And so my connection is always typically family because family, small town, country is a different series. Um, I had a dozen series of brothers. I'm coming up with my rock stars, which is fun, which is what I was talking about with first person. Um, but again, they're a band, so they are a band of brothers kind of thing. So they are connected. And I do tend to like connecting guys. I know some people, some authors tend to write connecting the women. Whatever is your preference, I do find that connecting the guys works better. However, with that said, and I was once told by an editor who's amazing and I think she's awesome that brothers typically sell better than sister books, which is probably true. How in most series. In my House of Morgan series though, I have to say Victoria's book and I gave an ode to my own name because Victoria's are typically always the bad girl. In every movie, think The Parent Trap, to think Twilight, Victoria's off on doing her own thing. We are never ever the heroines in the story. Like it's just Victoria's always like an independent or bad girl who's off to do her own thing. So she's got her own goals because she's Miss Independent and she is never, ever, ever the heroine. Like Alice is her heroine, not Victoria. So I decided I would write a book where I made Victoria. Other, There has to be other Victorias out there who always were like, why am I always the bad guy in every book, in every movie? So that was my ode, but it was actually one of the hardest books to write. So I kind of, when I wrote it, I knew her name was going to be Victoria. But in the, in the story, I called her like something else when I was writing it. And then I just did the replaced at the end because I just couldn't use my own name. It was weird. So anyway, that's side note. Um, I hope this was helpful. And if you're thinking about writing romance, I do recommend if you plan, especially if you plan on indie, the market is typically people don't want to read series until the end of the series or they don't want to get invested until the end of the series or until they know that there's enough out there so that they're not going to get lost if they love your series and you never write book two then they're upset with you so because then they start it and they want to read it and then you don't, don't produce so typically people will write, wait in the indie world to read so if you have my my success number tends to be five so once you have five books in a series it tends to do better so i kind of say five i know some people are good at three some people will say seven every number everybody's number is a little different and to know if a series is successful or not. So like I said, mine has always been five. So I hope this was helpful to you if you're writing a series. Um, if you're a fan of the sh of my books, uh, tell me what you want me to write more of because I am I just started another Morgan series and I'm kind of excited that I get back to my Morgans and I'm going to bring all the other characters back in soon for this big party. So I'm super excited to write it. So anyway, uh, take care and... If you like this, if you like these things, comment as I said, like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.